Hey guys, Crystal 5 here with episode number 1 of our Sampdoria career mode on FIFA 19. We are back with the FIFA 19 career mode on the channel. Last one was the Everton. I think we did just over a season on that. This one we're going to do much, much more. I can promise you that. We've also got RTG. We've got the FM series. We've got a lot to come to the channel. I missed yesterday's upload because I had a headache. That's the first upload I've missed this year. And I will continue. I will continue to upload this year every day I swear I promise apart from yesterday where I had a headache but we are going to go for five minute halves ultimate difficulty I've renamed the stadium and this year it actually stick uh, sticks with that name you don't have to go on current customized for it to stick now they want us to make three million euros profit from youth players within two seasons that's doable uh, within three seasons increase the ticket holders by 10% of the stadium's capacity again doable with good results Round of 32 in the Coppa Nationale, mid-table in Serie A, within two seasons get Europa League, which is exactly what I want to do, and within three seasons increase the club's worth by 70 75%, I think it was. So we're going to try and kick off with that Youth Academy uh, challenge, challenge, not challenge, target, I don't know what it would be, by going out and getting an Italian scout and sending him to Italy for a defensive-minded player. First game in the pre-season tournament was against Frankfurt our FM team. We beat them 3-0. The next was against Leganes. We beat them 2-1. We then played Hertha Berlin and again we continued the winning ways and we beat them 3-1. We then played Schalke in the semi-finals and again continuing our winning ways we beat them 2-1. We then played Frankfurt once again in the final at the Signal Iduna Park which is Dortmund's home stadium. So they've got the home advantage kind of. They're in Germany. But this game is just going to be the goals. And the first goal comes as Jovic loops one past the keeper. Nicely done. And what I've just realised, I've literally finished recording this. I've realised a whole lot of our first 11 players are in on loan. So I'm going to have to make a lot of signings next summer and in January. But Quagulera plays through Sapanara. Great goal there. Really nice piece of play. And our star striker, Quagulera, is in the final year of his contract. And he's retiring at the end of his contract. So we're going to have to sign a replacement for him. Jovic plays it up to Kostic. I've sold Kostic. Zagorev never had him. Jovic I still have. Kostic whips it into Halur. We sold him the first season we got there. Kostic back to Zagorev. Whipped in. The flex is going to go up for a corner. That corner is going to be whipped in by Kostic himself. He's got some tall men in the midfield. In the midfield, in the middle of the box. One of being Halur. He's got a good uh, shot on him as well though. Falls to Indika. Abraham try to intercept it there played out wide to Kostic whipped to the back post headed back in by Muru laid off by Jovic to Haller and it's 2-1 Priet now in the 70th minute plays a brilliant ball through to Ferrari he plays it up to Ramirez he's going to dink it to the back post to Cagliolera and it is 2-2 now this game looks like it might be going to penalties but in the 78th minute Haller plays it back to Toro Toro to Fabian Jasinovic, they're working their way upfield really nicely. Hello to Fabian. Whipped in. Jovic can't win the header. Colley wins it, heads it straight to Jasinovic. And he makes it 3 2. Literally just after we've equalised. And then they play the corner short. Fabian whips it in near post. And Dika gets to save him. But Hello tucks it away and makes it 4 2. Maybe we should have kept Hello on our FM save. We'll never know. This was my mess up here. I made three, two signings and a sale. And I didn't record him. Toro and Moise Keane came in. And Gaston Ramirez left us. Now I'm going to go for a new keeper. Because as I said, a lot of our first team players are in on loan. Even the keeper who is our best keeper in the club. So I'm going to go for Svila from SL Benfica. He was the one that made that mistake against Man United last year. So hopefully he's got his confidence back up. He's 18, 68 overall. We're going to get him on a four year contract. His wages are low. He's got great potential. I'd say mid 80s, mid to high 80s. So one for the future, definitely. As we will accept a five thousand pound, sorry, euro wage for him there, and we move on to our first Coppa Nazionale game at Estadio Luigi Ferraris, which is against Benevento, who got relegated last season. They were like the worst Serie A record ever, or some some shit like that. But this game there, Vieira, the young Englishman, lost out the ball. And they are on the counter-attack here. Coda plays through Viola. 
Tonelli with a last ditch tackle. He's in on loan. I might look to bring him in on the permanent next season from Napoli. But 27 minutes in. Defrel, another one on on loan. Quagliarella plays it through to Jankto. Jankto lays it back off to Quagliarella. He's going to shoot. Gets blocked and it goes up and over. Probably out of the stadium. Probably out of the stadium. Pugio. We win the ball back with Linetti. He plays it to Cagliarella. He's got some space. Finds his man. Defrel turns nicely. Shoots. Not even on target. And then that was one of the worst shots I've ever seen by Ronaldo Vieira. And it takes until the second half. We are still nil-nil. Tonelli plays it back to Eduardo. Tonelli. Muru. Muru's a talent. I remember signing him on like FIFA 12. He was a really good, talented uh, Italian left back. Don't know if he's as good yet. Uh, yet. Anymore, but Gabbiadini from uh, Southampton signed this transfer window, I'm assuming. Plays the route to Cagliari, and we get our first goal in the proper season. I haven't got one in the league yet, obviously we haven't played a league game. But our first goal in the cup, 57th minute, comes from that man. Our main goal scorer for the season, Cagliarella. It's a nice piece of passing play between three men up top, De Frel, Gabbiadini and Cagliari. We are now going to bring on a couple of substitutes. Spatafara and Tonelli, the main two, coming on. We've got Muru coming down this left-hand side. As I said, he used to be a really good talent. Lays it into Cagliari. He literally got kicked in the back of the leg. I'd say that was a penalty. Apparently not. Tonelli up to Jankto. Spatafara, Moise Keen. Moise Keen through to Cagliari. Shoots. Oh, it's Moise Keen that come on. So he's making his debut as well as Tonelli. Cagliari now. Muru's down this left-hand side. A lot of our play is coming down this left-hand side with Muru. Cuts back, plays it through to Jankto. Jankto's going to play it back to Muru. He's got options in the box. Plays it to Vera on the edge. Spatafara sees the run being made by the Polish right back. Great shot. Goes out though. In the 89th minute now. Seeing out this game. Spatafara intercepts the box, the ball. Tonali plays through Moise Keen, And the two youngsters work together. One gets their first assist for the club. The other gets their first goal for the club. Seeing out the first victory in a competitive game for the club. A 2-0 victory over Benevento in the Coppa Nazionale. A competition I think we've got a good chance of winning. If we play well, we should win it. This game is against Fiorentina. And we are at home once again. The first game in the league. Showing the warm-up set. That shows it is a big game. Now, right from kickoff. Spa oh, Sapanara, not Spatafora. Sapanara. Plays through Moise Keane. He cuts back. Whips it with his left foot into Cagliarella. With a great head early on. Look how close this is. Two minutes in we could have went 1-0 up. But it's just wide off the post. Moise Keane now. Jankto. Again we, we're getting all the options here. Vieira. Jankto. Nice ball into Sapanara. Great save from the youngster Lafont. Keeping it at 0-0. Benassi now. Loses out the ball. To Linetti, as you will see here. Great piece of interception there. Lays it back across to Sapanara. To Moise Keane. Great reaction save again from Lafont. Maybe Moise Keane could have done a bit better there. And actually put a bit more power on it. We'll never know. But Benassi with a great ball over the top. Intercepted there by Anderson. Vieira just looking to hold off play. Plays it back to Piaka. Benassi. And a good save there from Adero. Our keeper. 27 minutes in. Played up to Piaka, the young Croatian winger. Ferrari loses out the ball to Luis Muriel. He has been a career mode gem for a long time now. As Anderson loses it out once again to Muriel. On a top bins corner into the right hand. Right hand side, yeah. Goes over to the camera. Love hearts. First goal in the Serie A for that man right there. Now, Tonelli, we need to improve on this quickly. Jankto, Linetti. Through to Cagliera. Moise Keane, he's got a run of Ferrari being made at the bottom. Whips it across. Punched away by Lafont. Moise Keane's going to head it to Vieira. He's got options in the middle. Finds Spatafara. He lays it back to Janko. Shoots. Great save. Deflects all the way out and they do get it away. We have just been so unlucky so far this game. Now, five minutes into the second half. Vieira looking to work things forward. Janko. Sapanara. Plays through Cagliera. He's going to stop. Cut back inside. Shoots. Deflects off Gaviadini. That might have been going in. Probably a similar goal to Luis Muriel's. But it did deflect off of our own player. Gaviadini heads it straight to Victor Ruiz. Vertel plays it to Benassi. Back to Dabo. Benassi. Back out wide to Birangue. Dabo. Back into 
cuts inside. Linetti makes a tackle. We're trying to get it away. We can. Benassi intercepts from Jankto. Miralas. Oh, from Everton. Miralas, yeah. Plays it to Dabo. Dabo plays it through to Muriel, who is through and goal. He's in so much space on that penalty area. And he makes it 2-0. And we seem to just not know how to defend, I guess. But Kegelera plays it through to Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini to Vieira at the back post. Shoots across goal. Lafont with an easy save. And then the rebound is easily blocked. And that is going to be the final result of the game. A 2-0 loss at home. Hopefully we can improve upon this in the next episode with a win. But a 2-0 loss at home is very embarrassing as your first game in charge. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.